Okay, done. Peachtober was one of the most challenging and fun monthly challenges I've ever completed. Before we get into that, let's go back to the start of this last week. And our prompt was tunnel. After the shambles that was last week, uh, I was happy that this was my starting prompt because straight away I felt quite inspired by it. I had been looking at a lot of comic stuff and I know that's because I want Peachtober to be over. I always get inspired to do the next thing when I'm over the current thing. But I really enjoyed the turnout of that one and the color scheme. Message. This one, I don't know what happened, but I cannot find any of the footage of me creating it. I can't even find the completed piece of art for it. But this is the throwback to the sort of art I used to look at on Tumblr. Um, and so it's just a very sad little slice of life moment. But you can see, I screenshot this off my Instagram. I don't have any footage. I don't know what happened. Speaking of Tumblr, uh, for those of you who also lived in that hellhole of an internet space, um, did you love punk edits as much as me? Because if you did, maybe you will appreciate this piece of um, Sakura from Car Captors with slight punk edits. I really enjoyed this piece. It was one of those processes that just kind of kept going well and I kept liking the outcome of each step and that kept me really motivated. And I also, I'm just a sucker for a punk edit. I think she looks really cute and cool and I really enjoyed the outcome of this one. The next one was Coral and I thought about what I was going to do for this one for a long time and in the end, I just kind of wanted to do a sketchy color pencil kind of copy of a picture of coral or coral reef. And so that's what I did. And it is very simple. There's not a lot of technical um, skill required for this, but it was very therapeutic. And I just copied the little wiggly shapes I could see. I, uh, I dropped the colors and I just felt very, a piece, very calming doing this. Um, I also thought about maybe adding some sea creatures, but in the end, I really liked how simplistic and just, like I said, color pencil, sketchy little picture it was. Like I, I never draw like this, this, I never draw in this kind of style. And so I just wanted to leave it fairly simple and I really liked the outcome. I can't remember if this was midweek or near the end of the week, but we took a little slump. But things took a turn after a couple of pictures that I really enjoyed. We got to this one. Ladybug, I didn't know. I didn't feel particularly inspired by it. Didn't know what to draw. Didn't really want to just draw a ladybug. So I thought, well, oh, how can we incorporate that into something that maybe is good to be practicing and one of those things I need to be practicing more is drawing men and men's clothing. I didn't like the color and it was an okay turnout. Pond, this one really took me on a journey because the sketching process came together quite quickly. I liked the idea of a spooky pond and a spooky wood and I in my head, I was thinking it'll be really dark colors and very moody and atmospheric. And so at that kind of stage of the process, I was feeling really good. I'm like, yeah, I can do that. It's not too technical. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then I started cleaning it up and working out if I wanted them to be ghosts. And I kind of went for a mid range of like children and ghosts. And then the coloring. Uh, I don't know what happened, but did not go as I thought it would. I thought I could do that better and it, I couldn't, so. Ah, I've just woken up and I am getting ready to get into my next set of drawings.
Peachtober is coming to an end. I have four more pictures to do and then it's done. And I've gotten a few thoughts and feelings about it that I think I'll share at the end of the video. So um, please stick around. So this week is more than a week's worth because there were nine drawings in total. So we're gonna blast through them and then I'm gonna talk a bit about how I found this month and talk about what I've learned or any thoughts I've had on it. If you've enjoyed this series, please subscribe and stick around for more art videos. Uh, it means so much to have you all along with me on this journey. So yeah, please subscribe, like the video if you like it and let's carry on. After finishing Ladybug, which felt like a total disaster to me, and I was nervous we were gonna carry on on a downhill trend like we did last week, I really wanted to have an easy win. And so I took a picture of my mouth and I sketched what I saw and I went very basic and sketchy with the coloring so that I wouldn't hate it and hate myself for it. And I like the um, turnout of this one. It was very simple, got me in the groove. I felt like I could draw again, which was a nice feeling. And then it was off to the rugby. <laughs> Spoiler alert, New Zealand didn't do well. <laughs> Morning guys, today we're going into town to play some Xbox. <laughs> So I'm not sure how many of you know, but the Microsoft building in Oxford Circus has an upstairs gaming room where you can play uh, Xbox games as long as you like. So we, after a busy week and a tiring one creatively, I needed to reduce. So we decided we would go and play Xbox. And I played this really cute game that was like very watercolors and very cool a storyline and it's called Dordogne. That's a terrible pronunciation, but it's a hard word to pronounce in French. I oh, know. It's very cute though. Highly recommend. Keen to go back and carry on playing. Uh, it was a really fun afternoon. And then we wandered around London as it was getting dark, which is always a very cute time. Got some five guys, nailed our order. Usually we drastically over order but it was the perfect amount and I was a happy girl. Once I was home, I was fed, I had chilled all day. I actually found that this piece came together so quickly and it just shows how much, sometimes you just need to step away, do something completely different and it actually refreshes you, especially creatively, but I know that it works in a lot of different aspects to just take a break, even if you feel like that's the wrong thing to do, always take a break because you'll come back so much fresher and ready to smash out something cool and i love this piece it's maybe my favorite of the weeks now we're really on the countdown only two more pieces to go second to last one moss this one started with a bang i love drawing little cottages i came up with this little creation i had this lovely little babushka lady coming home with her groceries or whatever and her little house set out in the woods and nestled in the earth i was going to have the roof covered in moss i even drew this little shrine i was getting in the details for this piece and loving it and I wish that I had just stopped 
before I start coloring because the sketch layer, I love. I'm so proud of it. The base color was fine and then we started struggling. We tried putting moss, it felt too cluttered. I think what I'm struggling with the color is the values and making sure that the right things are popping out and reading well. And I think that's why I'm disappointed with the end result is it doesn't read clearly. But that's all right, because it was the last freaking day of this challenge. And spooky, that's so easy. I'm gonna do some trick-or-treating. Speaking of, I'm living in a more suburban area this year. And so last year I didn't get any trick-or-treaters. This year, people up our street had decorated the front of their houses. And then in the evening, there were so many kids and they were dressed in the cutest little costumes and you could hear them giggling down the street and running around. And it was the most wholesome evening ever. My boyfriend came back with a little bag of treats for me and we just sat in bed and I listened to outside and watched a movie and it was the perfect end to the drawing challenge but also the perfect end to the Halloween season. It was a tough, a tough road but a fun one and that last night with this piece that for me just came together really well. I love the color scheme. I love the character design. And then the coziness of the night, 10 out of 10. So that's our roundup for the fourth and final week. Whoa. Okay, done. Peachtober was one of the most fun and most challenging month challenges I've ever completed. So now that it's all said and done and I've done 31 drawings within a month, which is crazy. Like I never draw that many and I never have that many completed works in such a short amount of time. So that was really rewarding. Overall thoughts, it was really fun to do. The prompt list was really good. I liked most of the words. Um, it was really fun to see an uptick in engagement on my Instagram because I really barely use it. And so posting more regularly and interacting with other posts, it was cool to see a bit more, you know, reach that my posts were getting. I also really enjoyed the aspect of finding new artists through the ads for Peachtober. Overall, I had a really good time. I really challenged myself. And mostly I'm just proud because I've literally never finished one of these monthly challenges properly before. I usually get partway through and end up getting too busy or just not enjoying it and stopping or whatever the case may be. So I don't know what the secret formula was for this year, but I'm really proud of myself. Pros, the pros where I came away with some pieces I really, really love. I got back into a regular drawing schedule, which has been really fun and being consistent has made me more creative. Finding other artists, being part of uh, the art community on Instagram, and another pro, which is also kind of in my cons list, but is mostly a pro, is that um, I have been able to identify some proper gaps or holes in my skill set that I really want to better myself at so that going forward some of the art that I want to make isn't as difficult and frustrating and because I was never really stretching myself like I did during Peachtober uh, I didn't realize how many gaps there were. The cons the cons were when it was a prompt that I didn't have any inspiration for and couldn't think of a new angle for, I really struggled and I didn't enjoy drawing those. Uh, another con was I didn't love uploading everything to my Instagram because some of the pieces I'm not really happy with and so it kind of it hurts me to have them on my uh, main page. 
I don't know. I thought I honestly thought there were gonna be more cons because finishing up those last few days, I was really struggling um, with everything. And so I was just like, oh, you know, there are some good things about doing this, but man, I've got a lot of negative things to say. But now I'm sitting down thinking about it, I can't actually work out what those would have been besides I found parts of it really challenging because my art level's not where my hand and mind needs it to be. Um, so then it meant a lot of pieces that I had a really strong vision for, I couldn't realize it because um, I just didn't have the ability to get it to that point. Not really any cons. It was, I will say, once I had finished it or once I was getting to the end and um, had a bit more free time drawing wise to myself, I loved just drawing whatever and, and doodling and sketching and thinking up my own unprompted um, drawings. So I think that the controlledness to a certain extent, even though Peach Toad is definitely one of the more free to be challenges um opposed to like inktober or something like that when you're limited with um different aspects of it because it was still kind of structured and i knew i had to do a drawing every day um sometimes it, i just had to get it done and i wasn't you know overly enjoying the process once that was out of the way and i could just pick up a pencil and sketch whatever it felt like real freedom of um inspiration and creativity which i wasn't expecting to feel that you know like release from peach tober and be able to just do whatever um like i filled up multiple pages of my sketchbook as soon as it ended like i've done this one this one this one this one i'll do I'll show you those closer and in more detail when I do the next sketchbook tour. But yeah, it was unexpected to have such a burst of creativity after forcing myself to be creative for 31 days. It was, it was cool. I like it. So in closing, I overall really enjoyed Peachtober. I found it very valuable. It gave me a lot of insight. It also made me feel more connected to the art community, especially on Instagram. Um, and I'm just mostly really proud of myself because like I said, I'd never completed one of these before and to have it completely done and to be really happy with the majority of my output, I, yeah, I'm chuffed, it's good. So that concludes the fourth part in this series of Peachtober 2023. And I'm so glad you all came along for the ride and I am looking forward to putting out some new videos with some new content next week. And if you did, if you participated in Peachtober, let me know. I'd love to look at your stuff. Hope everyone has a lovely November. It's my birthday month, so it's going to be good. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.